All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today I'm doing some maintenance on my lathe. And I just wanted to throw up a quick video about the uh, multi-fix tool post that I have. And uh, just uh, taking it off the lathe, cleaning it up, uh, disassembling it, uh, degreasing it, oiling it, and putting it back on the lathe. And if you've ever used a multi-fix tool post, uh, you'll know that they're great. I'm not sure what brand mine is. Uh, the name tag was missing when I got it. So it's either an Enco or it's a Swiss. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a great tool post and I, I really like it a lot. I really like the uh, Alors tool posts as well. They're, uh, they're really good. And uh, so anyway, uh, let's head over to the lathe there and I'm gonna pop that off and uh, clean it up. I'm just doing a little maintenance here today on the old uh, LeBlanc here. And I was looking at the uh, multi-fix tool post here and it's looking a little, uh, a little gross and needs a little cleanup here. So I think I might uh, just pop this off and uh, give it a good little cleanup there. Yeah, definitely in need of a little cleaning. And I got a nice uh, bath of uh, Simple Green gone. So I'm gonna put this in there and uh, soak that up and uh, take this apart and uh, give it a little inside out uh, clean in here. <clears throat> All right, here's this uh, tool post. And I'm gonna take this guy apart and spring this off and uh, yeah, in need of a good clean in there. And then this right here. Pop these guys apart. Pop the spring off right here. And what I got here is a bath of uh, Simple Green. And I'm gonna soak these pieces in there and give them a nice bath and uh, scrub them up. get in there and uh, do a little dental work there. Herbie, Herbie wants to be a dentist. All right, I'm just gonna rinse these parts off in a little water here. Clean off some of that uh, simple green. this old school black and decker drill here and uh, this is a drill that I just always keep uh, a, either a wire wheel on or a nylon wire wheel on and it's just great for cleaning up parts and uh, don't worry I'm not gonna uh, uh, put the wire wheel on any uh, nicely machined surfaces or uh, these precision uh, surfaces I'm just gonna clean up some of the outside areas that got a little uh, grime on them and that kind of thing and uh, just polish them up.
before I put these pieces back together, I'm just gonna give them uh, all a nice little coat of some uh, whey oil. This is a uh, mobile uh, number two Bactra whey oil. So just gonna give these a good slathering down. It's time to reassemble these parts here. And so this piece here, it's like this little top collar piece, and this uh, spring snaps right into this groove. And then uh, here's this little indicator, and that's got a little tab there. And this ring just slides right underneath that spring. The clamshell here, this just wraps right around and then drop on this top plate here and drop this right in and we're ready to go. Uh, I'll go over to the lathe and we'll put this on. And I'm back over at the LeBlanc here and uh, I just cleaned up the compound a little bit, scrubbed this out and cleaned this off. And uh, so now I'm going to put the uh, tool post back in here and uh yeah a bomb he was uh working on a mounting uh one of these multi-fix tool posts for someone just recently and he machined a real nice t-nut to go into the compound and then he machined that uh t-nut flush right with the top i think he might have even taken a little bit off the top of the compound and made that just a really nice flat surface and uh, I might do the same thing for this. I think that'd be great to have a nice uh, T-nut in there that came all the way up and a nice surface for uh, this tool post to mount on. So I'm just, uh, I'll slide the post in there and then drop this down right over the top. And here's a little collar. And this is how I got this tool post. Uh, later, when I, I think I'm gonna take apart this compound and I'm gonna redo the Gibbs and that type of thing in there and get this all tuned up. And uh, I think when I do that and I machine that T-nut to go in there, I'm gonna put a, uh, a shorter post in here so this isn't sticking up so high. I think that would be nice. And uh, yeah, here's an old antique wrench that I'm using. Actually, my, uh, my dad gave me this, and this was uh, his dad's there. This is Pop's wrench, and uh, this could use a little cleaning up, too. Uh, I kind of also like the patina on it. It's got the old wooden handle, but, yeah, cool old wrench. I had to clean it up to see the name. I think it says uh, Worcester, uh, Massachusetts there, something wrench company. And uh, put the handle on there. Nice. Uh, if you haven't used one of these uh, multi-fix tool posts, they are uh, a really nice uh, item to have here. And if we go over here and look in the drawer here, there's all kinds of uh, tool holders uh, for boring bars and, uh, you know, all kinds of... Uh, shapes and sizes here for for tool holders uh lots of different configurations that you can get for this but uh yeah just an all around really nice uh, uh tool holder here so let's see maybe i'll uh i'll drop this guy on all right i'll just drop this uh tool holder on and see how this works now that it's all cleaned up and yeah that tightens up up real nice I'll turn it around here so you guys can see how that drops on. It's got like two pins here and they slide into these two sleeves right here and uh, drop that right on. It's got height adjustment right here and then you can just lock this in uh, either direction. It's a really nice uh, tool holder. I really like how it works on the lathe here.
right, well, I had a lot of fun making this video, and if you guys like this video as well, uh, if you could, give me a thumbs up there, like the video, and subscribe if you like my channel here. I got lots more uh, videos coming your way on uh, machining and all kinds of stuff. Uh, actually, I'm setting up a uh, part of my shop that will have um, some pizza ovens. I got a Baker's Pride double stack pizza oven that's going in one side of the shop, and uh, you guys will like that. I'll be setting those up soon. But yeah, lots more uh, machining videos and uh, all kinds of projects in the shop. So uh, I hope you guys are doing great, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.